You know, guys, now the holiday season is behind us. Many of us struggle to keep the New Year's resolutions we made just about three weeks ago. And if you're having trouble making it to the gym, waking up an hour earlier, or maybe meeting some of those self-imposed new rules you set for your very own self, not to worry, you're not alone. In fact, about 80% of New Year's resolutions have already failed by the second week of January. That said, we still believe the first of the year is a great time for a professional, call it tune-up, yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of things can uh, just make a difference. And here to help us fine-tune our work habits, we have Pamela Eyring, the doyen of decorum. Oh, oh. How about that? Wow. From the Thank Protocol you. School of Good Washington. Morning. Happy New Year, Tyler. That's, that's quite an intro. You now need <laughs> am, to live up to that. I don't know if we can make a better one than that. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So what are, the, uh, what are some of the things, you know, obviously working out, being nicer to the kids, uh, you know, we just don't make it very far, do we? Well... We need to focus also on work. You know, right. after the holidays, we're like, oh, it was great. I had a break. Hopefully, sure. everyone did get a break. But now we're back in. So this is a great time to refresh some of those office etiquette 101 skills. Sure. And first of all, the thing that drives the boss crazy mm -hmm. is timeliness. Or timeliness. lack of timeliness. <laughs> we'll you get know. there when we get there. We're yeah, fine. Yeah, well, some people think that, you know, just because it's frost on their windows mm -hmm. or there's traffic or, you know, the dog did something in the house, right. that the, the boss should pay for that. Meaning, you know, I came in 45 in minutes late and right. I'm leaving on time that's wrong right you know so, they want right. their 40 hours they want if you're on salary so you get a clock so time check yeah, watch your, your time. time absolutely what else you got on the list well vacation so this mm -hmm. is the beginning of the year and sure we just had vacation but if you're going on like a week or two week vacation right. coming up or maybe getting married and a honeymoon any special um, long-term vacation mm -hmm. time needed schedule it in advance right that way the boss can't say oh you never told me or sure. this was you're going for a week and this is two weeks from now right. oh no and then also let your employee or your co-workers know so that they have it on their they calendar. know it's coming up as well and that's right. always good especially if you're in a small uh, you know a small shop or a small crew a lot of times it's first come first serve for vacations mm -hmm. you want to get yours in especially yep. if you've promised your wife you're taking her to Hawaii yes you don't sure want enough. to jeopardize that at all now the other thing I have an issue with is well just clutter and a mess about my work area. Yeah. Pam, that's that's this, an issue this for is me. A, this is a pet peeve for co-workers, <laughs> especially in the kitchen. Right. You know, some of us have small little kitchens that, uh, right. you know, that we get our coffee It's and there's a sink and things. And sometimes we just throw the dishes in the sink. Sure. Or we never help with the trash or the trash is flowing over and we just throw it around. And, right. you know, that is not really good. <laughs> it's just not good. It's just good not good. Do. <laughs> it's not good. I, I don't know. You know, your mom's not there to clean up after you, all right? right? You're an adult. Take care of those things. Put your dishes away. Sure. Uh, and, and, you know, if it looks a little messy, you know, wipe off the counter. Do some things. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't throw that one. That could have something Done. in it. How about that? <laughs> I'll pick all that it's up later clean. on. It's clean. See how easy that was? Thank I'm going to procrastinate Tyler. now. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a little later on. Great stuff, Miss Pamela Eyring, the Protocol School of Washington. We'll put links for you at abccolumbia.com on some of these really cool tune-ups and these ideas. And they're good year-round, but certainly it's a perfect time. And that's the number one. Time. Know your time. Know your time. Stay you with us for go. coming back.